Preventing climate change is about protecting people and places. But it's also about the numbers here at the UN Climate Summit. And those can be really daunting, so we thought we'd explain a few of the most important ones. Starting with the number three. Three degrees Celsius is the average estimate of how much the planet will warm if all countries' voluntary carbon reductions are fulfilled. While that wouldn't prevent the worst impacts of climate change, it's considered a starting point for reducing emissions. The next number is the most talked about at this conference. 1.5 is the ambitious temperature increase limit a number of countries now want to see in the agreement. Low-lying island nations like Vanuatu, most affected by sea level rise, but also the U.S. and the European Union. Former senior UN scientist Chris Field says it's the right goal to avoid irreversible changes like melting continental ice sheets and thawing permafrost. Now, we know there's a tipping point with each one of these major events that can alter the Earth system, but we don't know exactly where that tipping point is. There's a good chance it's between 1.5 and 2C, and if we want to be precautious and preserve the sustainability of the Earth system, there's a strong motivation for stabilizing warming as close to 1.5 C as possible. The next number is a bit higher, coming in at 900. This is how many more billions of tons of carbon dioxide can be emitted to still have a chance of keeping our climate stable, according to scientist Catherine Mack. The total budget of how much greenhouse gases we can put into the atmosphere is 2,900 billion tons of carbon dioxide. Sounds like a huge amount, except that we've already put 2,000 billion tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Do the math and we've got 900 billion tons of carbon dioxide left forever if we want to limit warming to 2 degrees Celsius with a two-thirds chance. One more number getting attention is 100 billion dollars. Alex Mazuni of Climate Action Network explains why finance is an essential part of the deal. It will help um, ensure that developing countries can start massively investing in renewable energy and energy efficiency um, and also create the adaptation plans that they need to protect themselves against the impacts, the growing impacts of climate change. And finally 2020, the year when the plans put forth at this summit will be well underway and a time when countries can come together again to hit the numbers the planet is counting on. For Green TV, I'm Saroja Coelho in Paris. Thank you.